So it turns out that the Illuminati High Witch Ariana Grande is participating in a performance called Wicked. Not surprising, it fits her perfectly because she is a high level Illuminati Kabbalistic witch. And I'm going to read this article, but basically what's going on is that Ariana Grande, the high level Illuminati Kabbalistic witch, is leading the accurately named production called Witch or Wicked. Uh, Ariana Grande is a high level Luciferian Kabbalistic witch who openly says that she talks to and is even haunted by devils. Okay, she called it demons, the biblical word is devils. The satanic Luciferian Illuminati agenda is to desensitize, part of their agenda is to desensitize future generations into sin and wickedness. Uh, that's what's going on with this uh, Illuminati agenda right here. So I'm going to read this article. Uh, basically what's going on is that it says on, what's that website called? Uh, Vanity Fair. Because fitting website, because it's all just a bunch of vanity that she's doing. It's not going to cost her anything, or it's not going to uh, produce anything at, at the Great White Throne of Judgment. But it says, fellow Aussians, it has been decreed Tony winner uh, Cynthia Ivero and pop sensation Ariana Grande will star as Alpha and Glinda in Universal's Wicked movie. The news that the long jesting repeatedly delayed film adaptation of Steven Swartz's ironic uh, Broadway musical has finally found its leading ladies that uh, broke the internet Thursday night as Wicked fans took to the web to share their thoughts on who was ultimately chosen to defy gravity. Uh, Ar Arivo and Grande both announced the news via Instagram, posting photos from a tearful FaceTime that they apparently shared after in the Heights director John M. Shu, who set the helm at the film and told them that they booked that they had booked their roles so they're gonna be part of this uh, satanic film that's glorifying witchcraft and Satanism continuing uh, for many actresses with a high uh, mixed belt the announcement may not have been no, may not have been one short day in the Emerald City, Lee Michelle and Dave Cameron both trended on Twitter due to the fact that they were both ultimately not uh, they're ultimately not that girl, and having apparently been passed over for roles in the movie, our thoughts and prayers are with them and all over the musical theater actresses uh, and all and all other musical theater actresses at this difficult time. Theater geeks have been dreaming about the casting of the Wicked movie since the since the basically since the dawn of time it says since the show hit Broadway 18 years ago, and by basically every metric. Uh, Avro and Grande are a perfect Elfie and Glenda pair. They're both, they're both A-list talent. They both have a genuine appreciation for the art form that is musical theater, and most importantly, they can both sing the house that cru they, they can both sing the house that crushed the Wicked Witch of the East down. Both there's a, still there's a small part of me that wishes the casting was a tad bit different. Yeah, again, it's about witchcraft, glorifying witchcraft and Satanism. That's all that it is. It's just Illuminati, Luciferian, desensitizing future generations into sin and wickedness. Hence why the film's called Wicked. You know, fitting title right there. What if uh, Grande and Ivro, Ivro, hope I'm saying this name right, Ivro, switch parts. Look, someone who watches a YouTube video of Cynthia Ivro performing I'm Here for the, the color purple approximately once a week, I would never want to deprive the, an audience of a chance to see her sing Defying Gravity. And yes, I know Ariana Grande wanted to play Glinda since she was a munchkin herself. Lest we forget one of her first portrayals in the pop music uh, Mika's popular song featuring Grande singing the Wicked Song's classic hook. Uh, she even went as so far as to have the original Glenda, Christian Chenworth, join her as a mentor on The Voice this season. Still, I'd be slightly more intrigued by the project if we saw uh, Ivro's voice uh, take on Glenda and, Gar and Grande go green, uh, simply because we get to have the opportunity to see different shades of these two of these two mega talents. You know, if Ariana Grande does play the role of the witch, not surprising. Why? Because she's a high-level Kabbalistic witch herself in real life. Illuminati, Luciferian Kabbalistic witch, following the Jewish mysticism of Kabbalah. Continuing. By this point, we know that Cynthia Avro can play uh, as an alphaba, alphaba type, an incredibly powerful woman who is misunderstood and mistreated by society. Just look at her Tony winning performance uh, in The Color Purple or her Oscar nominated role as Harriet Tubman in Harriet. But what would happen if we gave uh, Avro a chance to play against or, be, or to be flirty and silly and girlish and fun, like say Glinda the Good Witch. Uh, likewise, we know that Ariana Grande can play a fun, popular girl. Heck, she's one of the most popular girls in the world right now. According to Instagram and her streaming numbers, 
according to Instagram and our streaming numbers. What would happen if we asked Ariana Grande to show some range, to paint herself green, and to get a little more serious? If they were to switch roles, each star would have would have would have showcased a side would have showcased a side that we don't necessarily associate with them as performers. And you know what it's called? Range honey. Yeah. You know, painting herself green because she is following the satanic Luciferian religion of Kabbalism, the Kabbalistic Jewish mysticism. Uh, what, would a switch work? Probably not. And for nothing, and not for nothing, they were both, they're both absolutely vocally suited for the roles they've already been cast in. But Ariana, heads up, we're going to need you to enunciate, enunciate more. Uh, still, it's fun to imagine a world where they get, where they each get to play against, uh, where they each get to play against type. Wicked is such a tired and true property at that point. It would be fun to see the movie version take some risks. That being said, the adaptation has been delayed for so long, for so, uh, so long that Universal most likely isn't looking to take any big swings. And like, and yet, part of me will always wonder if Grande will always uh, drop in for no good deed, or if Avro can harm it up. Uh, in popular, whatever happens, though, there is always only one thing that really matters. The love of Oz keep James uh, Corden out of it. Yeah. You know, all just a bunch of uh, Luciferian Illuminati witchcraft. So, I just wanted to show you that. Ariana Grande practicing in a, or going to play a role in a film glorifying witchcraft and Satanism. That's all that it is. Why? Because she's a high-level Illuminati Kabbalistic witch herself. So she's just fulfilling the roles of her Illuminati Jesuit masters over in Satanic Illuminati Hollywood. Okay, uh, witchcraft is an abomination to God. Read Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 10 to 12. It's an abomination to God. And God cast out the nations out of the, uh, basically God cast out the nations before Israel because of it. And witchcraft is associated with child sacrifice too. In, uh, for example, 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 6 gives an example of that. So don't be deceived. This is just another Luciferian Illuminati psyop. Let the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.